Sarah Anderson, The Lost Art of Silence, Reconnecting to the Power and Beauty of Quiet. Silence is said to be golden, but when we examine silence and its gifts more closely, we might consider it an even more valuable resource than gold. In a noisy world, the immense benefits of silence, both physical and spiritual, often go unnoticed. Yet, embracing moments of quietude can be transformative for the mind, body, and soul. Physically, silence offers respite for our overstimulated senses. It is a sanctuary where our nervous systems can reset and rejuvenate. Studies have shown that silence can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and even enhance the immune system. It provides a break from the constant barrage of noise that can lead to fatigue and burnout, allowing the body to heal and restore its natural balance. Beyond its physical advantages, silence is a gateway to spiritual growth and self-discovery. It offers an opportunity to listen to our inner selves. In the stillness, we can connect with our deepest thoughts, emotions, and desires, gaining insight into our purpose and passions. Spiritual leaders and seekers have long recognized the power of silence as a path to enlightenment, transcendence, and inner peace. So, in this blink, we'll take the opportunity to learn more about how silence has inspired others, what it has to offer you, and how you can invite it into your own life. Silence offers deep and lasting benefits. The benefits of embracing silence are manifold. It can be a powerful tool to reduce stress, enhance mental clarity, unleash creativity, sharpen focus, and aid contemplation. Yet true silence is becoming increasingly rare. As we navigate a landscape filled with constant noise and distraction, it's essential to recognize the value of silence and actively seek it out. The onslaught of modern technology and industrialization has paved the way for an ever-increasing cacophony of noise. Silence, and the opportunities it provides for contemplation, reflection, and tranquility, seem to slip through our grasp. But this is not a new problem. Let's consider the 19th century when a bustling city like London was remarkably noisy, much to the chagrin of some of its famous inhabitants. Inventor Charles Babbage, known for his pioneering work on the early computer, famously regarded street noise not merely as a nuisance but as a tormenting distraction. He lodged so many complaints about the incessant street musicians that they gathered outside his window to play songs in protest. Esteemed authors like Charles Dickens and Thomas Carlyle shared similar sentiments, with Carlyle going as far as constructing an extra room at the top of his house to escape the relentless commotion of the street. Carlyle could have always escaped to the woods or a monastery if he wanted peace and quiet. Silent contemplation has long been associated with religious practices. Various orders of monks and nuns have chosen lives of silence or near silence as a means to connect with the divine. However, the quest for a quieter existence extends beyond religion. Many individuals unaffiliated with religious institutions have sought solace in the quiet life, sometimes becoming secular hermits for a temporary respite or even a lifetime. Henry David Thoreau, a renowned transcendentalist philosopher, found solace and inspiration in the peacefulness of Walden Pond where he conducted silent studies of the unassuming moss. Another literary figure, Jack Kerouac, embarked on a journey of silence through walking, immersing himself in solitude until the silence became deafening. Yet, for most of us, constructing an extra room or retreating to the wilderness for an indefinite period isn't a practical solution. So, how can we incorporate the benefits of silence into our busy lives? One simple approach is to designate specific periods of silence. Anne D. LeClaire, a writer and broadcaster, advocates for what she calls Silent Mondays. During this time, she refrains from talking to anyone, even her partner, and avoids all forms of written communication, including email, messaging apps, and social media. For her, this break from the constant chatter of daily life is restorative and rejuvenating. It allows her to reconnect with the stillness within and tap into the remarkable benefits that silence can offer. Consider setting aside moments for silence in your life. Whether it's a silent Monday, a brief pause in your daily routine, or a meditative walk in nature, these moments of stillness can provide you with the mental clarity 
creative inspiration, and inner peace that are often elusive in the modern world. Retreat to nature to connect with silence. Anyone who's spent much time in nature knows that, while it can provide a welcome break from artificial noise, it's rarely truly silent. Yet, amidst the clamor of crashing waves, the calls of squawking birds, and the relentless gusts of wind in nature, there exists a magnificent and unique type of silence waiting to be discovered. Renowned nature writer Annie Dillard offers sage advice on connecting to the varieties of silence nature has to offer. She encourages us to declare to the world, Now I am ready. Now I will stop and be wholly attentive. It's an intentional act of emptying ourselves and waiting, listening with heightened awareness. In the midst of this purposeful stillness, we begin to perceive it, the absence of sound. Dillard beautifully describes it as a tension, a hum, a single chorus note everywhere the same. This, she suggests, is the very essence of silence, a resonant hum that permeates everything. Gordon Hempton, an acoustic audiologist who embarked on a cross-country journey in search of the quietest place in America, discovered his sanctuary in Olympic National Park. His motto resonates deeply. Silence is not the absence of something, but the presence of everything. It's a profound realization. Silence is not an empty void, but rather a rich tapestry of existence itself. Nan Shepherd, a mountaineer and writer who dedicated her life to exploring the Scottish Cairngorms, found a similar revelation. She trained herself to listen for silence, and in doing so, uncovered the rarity of genuine silence. Shepard beautifully conveyed her experiences, noting that, now and then comes an hour when silence is all but absolute, and listening to it, one slips out of time. Silence, she discovered, served as a portal, connecting her with the echoes of history and the vastness of the cosmos. Similarly, when traveling to the isolated Australian outback, writer Jeanette Turner Hospital perceived the silence as a bridge linking the present to the depths of the Ice Age. In Japanese, the word shinshin encapsulates the essence of snow falling. Shin describes the absence of sound where there was once noise. Swiss writer Max Picard poetically describes snow as silence become visible, emphasizing that silence can manifest in myriad forms. That said, the curious fact remains that while humans cannot hear snowfall, creatures like wolves and bats are attuned to its delicate whispers, and for fish, the sound of snowflakes striking water is reportedly unbearably loud. Silence, it appears, is a highly subjective experience. Beyond the respite from the clamor of daily life, silence may offer even more benefits. A 2013 study involving mice exposed to ambient noise compared to those given two hours of daily silence revealed a fascinating outcome. The mice in silence actually started growing new brain cells. This discovery underscores the transformative potential of silence on the mind and body. So, to renew your spirit and rejuvenate your brain, try turning to nature to rediscover the art of stillness and the myriad rewards it brings. Deepen your spirituality through silence. Silence can be seen as the canvas upon which extraordinary spiritual experiences are painted. Transcending the boundaries of religion and spirituality, and moving across diverse faiths and practices, silence emerges as a way to connect with the divine and transform the inner self. The significance of silence in spiritual pursuits is evident in ancient wisdom and the tales of enlightened beings. Consider Buddha, who attained enlightenment while seated in silence under the Bodhi tree. For Taoists, silence serves as a pathway to commune with the vast universe and a means to harmonize with the cosmic forces that shape existence. Within Christian monastic traditions, periods of silence are woven into the fabric of daily life. Some monks and nuns dedicate their entire lives to living in silence. The 12th century monk Alberic poetically describes silence as a place for bumping into yourself, highlighting its role in deep introspection and self-discovery. Quakers employ silence as a tool, gathering in silent meetings to foster spiritual connection. Southeast Asian Buddhism even boasts 21 different words to describe various facets of silence. In essence, almost every religion acknowledges that the path to divine communion often traverses through the hushed corridors of silence. 
Meditation, which shares linguistic roots with the word medicine, represents a quest to discover true silence, one that transcends the ceaseless chatter of our thoughts. Within this silence, our minds expand and our hearts open. The Benedictine monk John Main aptly noted that when the world fails to offer satisfaction, we can turn inward through meditation to explore the untapped depths of our inner silence. Note, however, that inner silence is not something we possess. It is an ongoing journey. Spiritual writer Thomas Merton emphasized that clinging to a presumed permanent state of silence can lead to spiritual stagnation. He cautioned that when we stop seeking, the silence within us wanes. Interestingly, meditation, rooted in the pursuit of silence, extends its benefits beyond the realm of spirituality. Many atheists and non-believers have embraced meditation to access its myriad advantages. This practice calms the vagus nerve, bolstering our immune system and offering potential benefits for conditions ranging from Alzheimer's disease to depression, an illustration of the intricate mind-body connection at work. Getting started with meditation is accessible to anyone, irrespective of belief or background. It requires no special equipment or extensive time commitments. Begin by setting aside a dedicated time, ideally with regular sessions to maximize its effectiveness. Find a comfortable space, infuse mindfulness into your meditation, and embark on your journey of inner exploration. Although focusing the mind may initially pose a challenge, perseverance leads to mastery. You could also try group meditation, which amplifies the benefits of this practice. It fosters relaxation, reduces stress, enhances emotional well-being, and improves mental clarity. Moreover, it nurtures a sense of belonging and connection, which plays a pivotal role in maintaining good mental health. Many practitioners report reaching deeper levels of meditation and profound experiences during collective sessions, although such moments are equally attainable in individual practice. In a world brimming with noise and distraction, the pursuit of silence, whether through meditation, group practice, or innovative techniques, remains a powerful and universally accessible tool for nurturing our spiritual essence and nourishing our well-being. Allow silence to spark creativity and connection. Silence serves as fertile ground for inspiration and creativity, as demonstrated by artists across various mediums. It's in the embrace of silence that they discover the depths of thought and emotion. Let's take a look at some world-renowned literary figures and artists to see what silence meant for them and their work. In his timeless work, The Book of Hours, the poet and novelist Rainer Maria Rilke delves into the connection between silence and the divine. He grapples with the challenge of silencing the noisy riot of the senses to reach a more contemplative state, a quest shared by many seekers of spiritual and artistic enlightenment. Philosopher and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson, a champion of individuality and introspection, advocates for reading in silence as the best way to absorb the true meaning behind words. He recognizes that silence and privacy in reading create an intimate link between the reader and the author, fostering a direct and personal connection to the story and its message. In George Eliot's Adam Bede, the preacher Dinah finds solace in silence as her fears and anxieties dissolve in it. For her, silence becomes a refuge and a source of inner strength. Marcel Proust, the seminal writer renowned for his intricate explorations of memory and consciousness, required total silence to create. He believed that books were born from solitude and nurtured by silence. Proust's characters often turn to silence in times of emotional turmoil, recognizing it as a powerful remedy for a broken heart. Literary pioneer Virginia Woolf was fascinated with silence, especially the unspoken words that linger beneath the surface. Her works frequently revolve around the consequences of these unspoken truths, emphasizing the immense impact of what remains unsaid. Playwright Harold Pinter and philosopher Samuel Beckett shared a belief that silence conveys meaning more powerfully than speech. Pinter was suspicious of speech, which he saw as a strategic veil to conceal vulnerability. In his plays, true meaning is often conveyed through silence rather than speech. Beckett saw speech as a futile attempt to confront the void of nothingness. His wordless play breath stands as a testament to the potency of silence, 
with its minimalistic structure consisting solely of the raising and dimming of lights, punctuated by two cries. Visual art, inherently silent, often explores the essence of silence itself. Romantic painter Caspar David Friedrich's canvases capture contemplative moments, inviting viewers to gaze inward and perceive their own spiritual truths. His words echo this sentiment, urging us to close our physical eyes and behold the world with our spiritual eye. Many creative minds, past and present, have relied on silence as a wellspring of inspiration, expressing concerns about its recession from daily life. Artists like the multidisciplinary Dadaist Jean Arp foresaw the encroachment of technology and the rise of ever louder noises, fearing that silence would become a thing of the past. So how can you start your own journey into artistic silence? Choose an artwork to contemplate in stillness. Begin by taking a moment to clear your mind and immerse yourself in the visual experience. Let your eyes wander over the canvas, sculpture, or piece, allowing each detail to unfold gradually. Pay attention to your emotional and intellectual responses, as the silence allows you to connect deeply with the artist's intention and the hidden nuances of the art itself.